Good morning. It is September the 21st, 2017. I'm in the bathroom, so I'm whispering <laughs> and I'm using my phone. I just wanted to come on here and I wanted to just encourage my viewers or whoever lands on this video to keep trusting in the Lord, to keep looking up, keep your eyes turned towards the hills from whence coming their help, or your help coming from the Lord. Look at a lot that's going on in the world right now. Hurricanes, natural disasters, earthquakes, um, two earthquakes, two very strong earthquakes hit Mexico in about a week apart. And then there's Jose, there's Marie, there's a new one called Lee. The world is trembling. The cup of iniquity has overflown. And we are in the last of the last days. And it is so important to forget about the world, forget about the things of this world, forget about the materials of this world. And focus on Christ. Your relationship with the Lord, your salvation is more important. It is the most important thing ever, right? Everything else is just vapid, it's vain, it's fading away. So I just wanted to come on here and to encourage you if you haven't given your life to Jesus, now is the time. Today, this moment is the right moment to accept the Lord into your life, to surrender, to repent of your sins, and to surrender yourself 100% to Him, to deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow Him. Life doesn't end when you die. It doesn't. The body goes back to the dust, but the soul, where would your soul go? Where would you spend eternity? Think about it. I have said that in the last days there will be wise and rumors of wise. It's not for you to be afraid, don't be afraid, but to put your faith and trust in the Lord. Look up, just look up, no matter what. Look up, don't look at what's going on around you. Pray, pray for the people that are affected. But keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus because if you keep your eyes on what's going on around you, your heart will fail. The Bible says men will faint because of what is going to happen. Their fear, fear is going to grip you. And um, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Also, you notice that they're this is such a narcissistic generation you know um where they're promoting self-love love yourself and all this stuff and it's a form of pride god hates the pride he resists the pride but gives grace to the humble as god to give you a spirit of humility because pride is what god is here okay the, the enemy wanted what he's created he is a created man and he wanted to take god's place and because of pride he got kicked out of heaven and he's on this earth creating havoc because he knows that his time is short and he wants to take as many souls to hell with him for eternity so ask god for a spirit of humility do deny yourself don't love yourself the way that the world is telling you to love yourself so much. Make yourself a God. Don't do that. It's wrong. Deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow Christ. Ask God to show you the contents of your heart because the heart is deceitful and desperately wicked. Do not follow the heart. Give your heart to the Lord. Ask God to give you a clean heart. Create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me. Ask God for the days and it is important to surrender to Jesus. And um, 
I'm gonna do my best to encourage those who watch my channel who subscribed. I'm gonna do my best to encourage you to spread their love to Christ and live for Him. Um, I'm gonna go to bed. Shalom, God bless, and give your life to Jesus. Bye.